Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video I want to explain you the difference between three types of laser lens. Uh, I get a lot of questions when people ask me, hey George, why uh, my laser is not cutting the way uh, you cut on your video footages. So first of all it could be because you have a stronger and more dense uh, material. I made a video showing uh, how you can measure your density and make sure that uh, your material is good for laser cutting. Uh, it's in uh, video description. And also I wrote in a, a detailed article. Another thing that could affect your laser cutting abilities is that all diodes are different. So uh, it's like different, kind of difficult and complicated um, heterostructural matter and sometimes diodes lose power, like sometimes it's like 1%, maybe 5 if it's 10, we send you a replacement with no questions asked. Uh, it's just laws of physics, uh, crystals could degradate and then they lose power. And the third thing, and that's why I plan to explain you today, that uh, you may use different types of lens. So this is three element lens that we send uh, with all lasers. This is quite common and quite uh, quite popular lens. Another one that we do recommend for laser cutting is short focal G2 lens and also um, yeah, by the way, it gives the smallest laser beam spot of 63 on 133 microns, so it's quite, quite small. And this is a G7 laser lens. You can see it over here. So, um, now we plan to make some tests and show you the different power measurement depending on what type of lens you are using. So uh, this is our 10 watt laser. I already installed a short focal G2 lens and let's uh, let's get started. Let's make a test. So full power. Probably lay I'm, I'm oops, sorry. Oops, I'm a little bit higher than I should be. I need to move down. Oh sorry now move move up. Okay, so we see the power is uh, increasing. So it's uh, will be probably like eight watt. Okay, so if we move it closer, you'll see that the power is increasing. That's also laws of physics, but still it's closer to like eight watt, eight point five watt CV power. Let's turn it off and let's uh, replace a lens and let's use three element lens. So the focal range for G2 lens is like from 5 millimeters to 30 millimeters. Uh, for this is a little bit more, but uh, let's make sure that we're in focus. Power on. Okay, more or less. And you see that the power for this lens shows um, it's not, we're not reaching even 7 watt. I'm not in perfect focus, however, but if I am, let me move it closer a little bit. Okay. Still we get 6.3, so roughly it's like 20% less efficient because of absorption, transmission and reflection. So all glass, all types of uh, crystals and glass and lens are made out of glass, they have reflection transmission and absorption coefficients. So it means that this laser actually uh, this type of uh, glass has more absorption or reflection, so we don't get that much power. So that's that's my basic recommendation. So it's getting hot. 
that's my basic recommendations if you need a laser for laser cutting I encourage you to use a G2 lens since it's more efficient and let's uh, try our G7 lens it's also quite, quite good thing something between 3 element and G2 let's test it Got the glasses on. Oops, okay, so I think that it's completely unfocused. Okay. Keep in mind that focusing is a key thing. Okay, we need to focus it roughly. We have all parameters for laser lens focusing. It's in our on our website. Uh, just Google endurance laser beam focusing. Okay, yes, now it's much better. So G7, actually, it's more efficient comparing to 3 element, but is not as good as G2 lens. But it's long focal though, so if you want to do... Uh, if you need to cut on a certain range, like probably like like 70 75 millimeters you'd better use G7 lens instead of 3 element lens but like I said it's not as good as uh, G2 lens anyway so that was my brief video I want to show you and share with you guys uh, about different uh, different uh, lens how you can uh, compare them all so the conclusion that if you need a laser lens for if you need a laser for cutting I encourage you to use G2 lens since it makes the smallest laser beam spot and it has the biggest uh, transmission coefficient so you almost uh, lose nothing from your laser diode. So hope that you like this video, please share it with your friends, subscribe on our channel and have a wonderful laser engraving with us. Bye bye!